Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I want to share with you how to integrate Git Response with Call Loop so you can add your contacts or subscribers from Git Response to Call Loop automatically. So, the first step here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a form inside of Git Response. So, to get to the forms page at the top, if you just go to forms, you go to create form, it should bring you to this page. So you have the list building wizard, you have apps, then you have plain HTML. We're gonna dive into the list building wizard. So on the left side here, I'm just gonna search for phone and this should actually bring up some of the templates they have that are already collecting a phone number. If you already have a template, you can easily just drag over a phone field over. So let's just go here. I'm gonna use this template, which has the email address a first name and the mobile phone field. Okay, so we're in the field here, or in the box, and as you can see again, it's asking for the email address, a first name, and a mobile phone number. And Call Loop is US based, so if you're collecting phone numbers from uh, outside the US, uh, they'll fill out the form, but they will not get added to Call Loop. Only USA phone numbers will be added to Call Loop. So you could use a mobile phone, on the right side, you could use a phone number, the home phone, the work phone, any of those will work with Call Loop. So we have this pretty much good to go. You can go ahead, edit it, you know, do all this sort of stuff to make it look pretty. But in this example, I'm just gonna show you how to integrate this. So on the top right, you're gonna see a gear icon. And when you click that gear icon, it's gonna give you all sorts of different settings. So before we dive into this, let's go over to Call Loop we're gonna create a group and we're gonna select Git Response as the integration. So let's head over there now. Okay, so we're in call loop here. And the first thing we wanna do is we just wanna create a new group. And we're just gonna call this one Git Response, okay? And the name of this is really whatever name you wanna give this. This could actually coordinate with the list name in Git Response, so you know what contacts are being added here. Uh, the allow resubscribes essentially is, is uh, you really only want to turn this off in the case that you're giving out like a coupon code on that first text message or something that's uh, similar to a coupon where they only should get that one time. I like to keep it on yes, just so people can resubscribe if they choose to. Uh, notifications is we'll send you an email notification. Uh, when somebody joins the group, you probably just want to set that to no. And from here, you're going to select integration and then you're going to select get response. So once you select that, the only thing you'll need to do is include the thank you page. A thank you page is essentially after they fill out your Git response web form, where do you want to send them to? Where do you want them to land after they fill that form out? So in this example, I'm just gonna put google.com, okay? And maybe on your site, maybe it's you know yoursite.com forward slash thank you, right? Um, you can always edit this, but essentially, that is where we're gonna deliver contacts after they fill this out. So once you select that, just go ahead and click Create Group, and Call Loop will give you this URL. So all you'll need to do is just copy this URL. We're gonna head over to Get Response, and we can just give this a name, so I'll just call this a test. If you want confirmed opt-in, you can turn it on. I like to turn it to no, but this is important. So choose Thank You Page. You're going to choose as custom and you're going to put in that call loop URL. The same thing for here, for already subscribed, you're going to choose custom. You're going to drop in that link as well. And there you go. The most important part is this forwarding settings and you're going to select to post. Okay. So you want to make sure you put in the custom URL there, the custom URL here, and then select and change this from no to post and then just press save. All right, so we've saved it, and now I'm gonna go ahead, save and publish, and Git Response will give us a page like this. I'm gonna go ahead and test it, so let's go ahead and just copy this link, and I'm gonna open a new tab, and we're actually gonna test this web form, and if it works, we should see them added over in call loop. So I'll put test at callloop.com, Chris, and we'll put in a number, okay? And I'll click join course. This should send us to Google. 
It does. Let's go over to call loop and I'm gonna to go to home and I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the list right here. And there it is, I see one contact. So there it is, it works. So let's click on this and there is the contact I just filled out. Now, if you want to deliver a follow-up text, what you'll do is you'll just go to messages, follow-ups under that same group. You'll create a follow-up and I'll just call this one welcome. We're gonna set this to immediately. And from here, I'm just gonna say thank you for joining. Okay, you can always um, add your text, you can edit your text. You can also include merge fields, right? So if you wanna personalize it, like Chris, thank you for subscribing. In fact, if I wanted to do that, I could merge that in. And so that's it. So we can create the follow-up. We're gonna turn this on. So that's it. So that's how you integrate with Git Response and add contacts to call loop when people fill out your web forms. Thanks a lot.